Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leonard. How you guys doing? And welcome back to part three of our Parabellum Backtrack campaign. I realized in the last episode I didn't show you guys the end screen uh, of the battle with like the kills and the victory objective. So this is how they did. Like those elephants really rocked my troops. Horse archers performed really well all across the board because I didn't have a really answer to them. But my general did a damn good cleanup job with nearly 800 kills. Uh, Help lights 240 and phalanx, yeah, just holding mostly. But that's it for this one, so I'll see you guys on the campaign map. So we are back on the campaign map and it look like, looks like I only lost one unit. And they lost... 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, including camel fracts, elephants, uh, almost all of their horse archers. Um, do we want cash? Yes, yeah, so we want a lot of cash. And it's sad to see that they just did quite lose their general. And we'll probably have to deal with these guys first, now they declared war on us and then go to Kath. This is gonna be an interesting one. Ah. Border crossing already. Um, you're gonna go straight for a mole, so why don't we just take you back? Because you are still our friend, right? Right? Oh no, you don't you hate us. Well, that's not the biggest issue. Um, this army is mostly horses. Um,. So we probably we have two hoplites, uh, three spears, three hoplites. So we probably would need some extra, either pikes, hoplites. Okay, these are two forty. That's a three twenty. With pikes, you are not as mobile. Uh, how much armor? 52, 58, 43. Let's go with these guys then. And you... Go get yourself some slingers, because slingers is the most effective against all these horses. This is not really too good, but it's okay for now. Next turn we have some new tech. And you... Sure, let's steal some extra food. I always like food. Like, Bactria does have the, uh, the opportunity to go crazy on food and wealth from agriculture. Which is really nice. So he's lining for me so I need to have at least one army in there so otherwise it's gonna be another very long very intense battle <clears throat> and how are you guys doing how are you guys enjoying the series so far like I am committing a lot more uh, resources to Rome 2 uh, to Parabellum to 11 AD 1100 AD I should say and with that also uh, streaming on YouTube as well so I hope you guys do appreciate that and it's a good life. Um, yeah, like get some traction going in, uh, in this place, which I hope is gonna work out very nice for us. We hunger for battle. Um, with this army, I could, I think I could easily deal with this. Well, easily. How much range? Uh, projectile range 230 holy crap 
Jackal range is 138 and these guys go 160. So my elephants will be able to ship them at least a lot earlier. Although they only have 4 ammo, but 4 rounds, I don't care. <laughs> that was the attack. Wrong button. Uh, what do we need? This L11 turns, but it gives us 2% wealth from agriculture. Uh, and this gives us the library, and the library, if we can find it, gives us plus 50% research rate. So I think it would be good to invest in something that is giving us more tag in the future. Because this is 11 turns and then it would give us like we're at 110 then it go to 160 so it would shave at least two turns off of everything else. So for now it might not be the most useful tech also I don't really have that much money. But it's I think it's a really good investment for the future. You are in a raiding stance. So I'm th I think I'm just gonna pull up with both armies. Drive him back. So probably would need an extra spy to see what to get a look on Parthia. Um, the homestead is here. We don't have too much cash. Let's get you onto here. Ready for orders. Is that all? At your command. To victory! Oh really? That sucks. And just as you were about to be a little bit more happy. Uh, that's the only surplus. Oh, nice. You're doing good. Plus four public order from events. Twelve from taxes. Holy moly. That is... Ex like, I, I do really like that you don't get, like, minus 100% from foreign cultures. That is mwah, yummy. Ready for battle. Uh, you are not much of a threat, like, this is not really a threat. You can call me. So, if I go defeat you, Murph is friends with Parthia? Where is your Parthala? Parthia is at war with... Krieg, Krieg, oh, they are at war with them as well. Okay, so that is going to be our first turn, like, clean up uh, this province and probably clean up this province as well, or at least this settlement, and then push into Parthia, Parthava, because we, remember, we have to declare war on everyone at some point, it's just that I don't want to, um, like, get touched in my booty. <laughs> I would like a little bit of peace and quiet now and then just to paste my own wars. So we're doing a no friends campaign and almost a disaster. Our gods ah, of course, now you go. So now we need to deal with that army as well. Uh, how much cash do we have? We're just gonna save up some stuff. It's a warm summer. That is okay, I believe. Let's see if this is going to be a fight. It's going to be an easy, easier fight. Um, we are going to fight this, so I'll see you guys on the battle map. Because I do believe we can do better than 69% okay, is quite nice. but uh, What are these guys? There's their easy infantry. I think we can do better, so I'm gonna go to the battle map and I'll see you guys in like a second. Okay, so here we are on the battle map and I just did a head count and we have like 8 slingers, 2 elephants and a general, so we only have like 6 troops left. We do have 2 peltas as well. Um, we are the attacking force, so what we are gonna do is uh, 
make decent front line with our troops. And then I'm gonna have the pelters a bit like this because there is a ton of normal calf that is also in the mix and elephants either side so this is gonna be our <coughs> attack formation um, I do think I want to see if we can get up this hill so a little bit like this so we can at least take this hill plateau because they'll probably be rushing for that as well I would imagine um, so let's see how does this go and since we are all covered they will be as well um, toggle guard mode for now so they don't have we don't have slingers just running away for no reason Uh, let's see if we can find some horse archers to <coughs> maim. Don't know how graphical I can get in these episodes without it being too much. Ah, so there they are. Uh, let's head forward a little bit more. There's a part of it, at least. And we do maybe want to go a little bit more like this, so we have that hill as well. And maybe we, sh we could use the elephants to draw them out. Because my archers have 138, they have 160, and you guys have 230, so my elephants would be able to fire a lot earlier. What is my range? Okay. So let's go a little bit more like this. But what we should do is see if we can focus. Uh, get like focus groups like three archers or three slingers to one horse archer because in those numbers we will definitely outperform them oh 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 shit okay so, target that what are your orders royal cavalry Uh, okay. Oh, number one. Move forward a little bit. Elephants! Stringers! We await your orders! Okay, you are dealing with the calf on that flank. Elephants! elephants are going. Uh, see, that's how quick it can go. Focus that one. Uh, where are my other archers? What the hell are you doing? I said, I told you to put. I put you on guard mode, didn't I? Guys, yeah, it good? Yeah, is it good? No, 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 what? Poor elephants! Poor elephants! Yeah, because that is your best option. Over here. Uh, what is it called? Target that one. 
try that one. Archers. What are your orders? Elephants. Let's see if you can protect these slingers. Peltas. Oh, this Peltas. This is Peltas. That's My great. Lord, feed us. Kill the very heavy shock calf. Um, where is the rest of my slingers? Is doing okay. More elephants, More elephants are being harassed. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And the guys are all focused on these guys. Okay, that's good. Shock half is going down. And these guys. We await your orders. And the guys are coming on. Focus on these guys. Hey, this is how you do it. Four elephants! Fire on the enemy! Slingers! Uh, you what are your three. orders? The battle is turning in our favor. Lost! Start firing them. We want just one round at these guys Enemies since they are one anyway. For glory! Slingers! At the ready! And that's the shot calf. Almost Fire done. General. What are your orders? We are at your command. Don't know if at we ready. are competing against the 69% casualties. Heavy shock. Go with this guy. Atrian. One of our yeah, units has used all its ammunition. Elephants are out of ammo. We are at your command. Advance uh, let's just let's just go in. My lord. What are you? Lost. Nah, you can't do that. Uh, go for these guys. The enemy general is dead. Enemy general is dead. Very nice. And the rest is gone. That's uh, game set match. Very nice. One unit routed. Close victory? Hell no, nah, this wasn't even close. This was just a goddamn good victory. Elephants 128 and 8. Okay, 10% is 300. Okay, I did lose like 20. Okay, we did like the other resolve, but my archers and slingers were well a lot more preserved, I, I think. Okay, I think we need to upgrade to a little bit more hoplites than just these guys. That could easily work out in our favor. They held, like, only one of them ran at the end of the battle, so that is really good. 212, 206, 181, 138, 165, 163. Slinger's doing very well all across the board. Wow, loading time's already done. Uh, let's save up some money. And um, you are still. Why are you still minus 11? Military presence. Okay, you go back. Because if they go find one of these two ways, then this army can get the reinforcements going. We do have a little bit of income that I want to try to preserve. Ready for battle. Um, you guys are healing. That's very good. Um, armor and melee defense. Uh, plus two attack. Armor and defense skill for all units. I like that one. Six morale against raiding armies. Defenses. Presence of unculture. Hmm. 
think I go go for these two. Like I upgraded these like uh, max <gasps> plus twenty five percent ammunition. Okay, let's see how that affects. Uh, our slingers now have twenty two ammunition. Uh, elephants have four. Does he have? 22 to 25 so an extra three slings times 120 men is what three times 120 is 360 extra shots like 360 extra stones being slung sling slung slung <laughs> i don't know the past tense but sling slung slung uh, what do we want here? You only have plus 8 due to military presence and characters. So it would be good to get, I think, a consecrated ground. Get some public order, get some sanitation. Get some stuff going. And I think over here that might also not be a bad call. Because uh, over here... Like, this is the only shitty thing. Like, we need one province just solely focused on um, military builds. Because we can, oh, with this one, we get horse archers. With this one, we get horse archers as well. Oh, different kind of horse archers. And this guy, is, we get the, uh, the pikes. This guys we got don't really need those to be honest do need those so this would be very good that gives us elephants it doesn't really give us much oh that gives us cataphracts this gives us indian armored elephants okay so i do need them all three but the stables and the barracks are more important because we don't not going to use these these pelvis those perform pretty okay um but these guys thorac thorac swords basically thoracitai basically thorac swords are gonna be a bulk infantry unit um so you're doing still kind of okay um, what does that do? Minus wealth, minus tax, plus 10% corruption. Holy shit. That is actually plus 20% corruption. So if I could just stabilize these regions, my income would be so much better. Okay, so after we take these two regions, we're just gonna take a few turns to at least stabilize some stuff. The shitty part is, if I put another general in here, which I probably can't even pay for. Um, how much? Oh, I can go, put them on armored elephants. For here, not so hot idea, because we do have to deal with a lot of archers. So, I go with noble cap. How much does that give me? Plus 8. Income tanked? Yes, but if I get this plus 8 and a banditry, how much does that affect? It doesn't affect jack shit. Okay. Um, so we leave it at this for just a couple of turns, like 4 turns. And this should be a lot better. So that should calm, like, even out our income. Uh, okay, next turn. Oh, you have skills to assign, probably. At your command. Nope. Do you have? Ready oh, you have still more skills. Nice. Could get you even more ammunition. Another twenty-five percent. Or gravitas. War cry. Um, 
what do we want? Line of sight. Bonus for calf. We don't really need that. There is also one with casualty replenishment. Movement map range. Uh, which one was that? Ally skill, defense, enables war. Don't really need that. Cultural conversion might be I might be handy. Person of foreign cultures that doesn't really bother. But this plus six cultural conversion for just standing there would be very nice. Um, where is my replenishment rate? Am I that blind? Minus one. Minus 1% corruption. I think I'm gonna go for this one. See what it does. I'm probably blind, but... Heh. What you gonna do about it? And after this turn is probably where we're gonna end this next episode. The storm has raged long enough. Oh, and now, we said we wouldn't want to do that, but that is very tempting. Yeah, go run, you little shit. Sail between your legs. Not that you have any horses left, but... Now you're straight going for recruiting again. And that's where that army is going. So maybe... If we're smart... At your command. This guy ain't gonna do shit. For Ready a civil for future. Battle. At once. I'm gonna go up this way. Commander, you have further Minus orders. Minus eighteen. Why? And you're minus Ready thirty-one. I want hourly patrol. You're plus six. <sighs> it's gonna be hell annoying to deal with all of this, but. Ladies and gentlemen, I am having way too much fun recording these, so I'm going to leave you guys here. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 3 of our Backtrack campaign. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or uh, any tips that you want to see me try. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more. We are on our road to 100 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing because it's just Total War fans, apparently. Uh, I didn't know there were so many people of you still enjoying Rome 2 the way I do even with the mods in, inflicted and all I don't care I really love it so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time peace